Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. They need to lift their head. I think sometimes deer are lazy. Big old bellies on them. Don't they go keto? <laughs> we are here, and it is smoky, smoky, smoky. Just looking at some deer and a bunch of antelope. It's really green this year, here, even all the way up. We've got a lot of moisture this summer. It's very different than last year, where it was just dry as a bone. So the ag pivots, the, the, there's some weed patches in it that a lot of these deer I'm seeing are feeding in, but they're, <laughs> they just disappear. So they must be pretty tall, but it might provide some opportunities to sneak in versus just, you know, flat alfalfa so there's water standing water everywhere little little puddles which was the exact opposite of last year in this smoke it's just it's hard to usually you can see pretty good even in this soft light but I can't even hardly see the other side of that pivot over there just because it's so smoky so it'll be interesting to see what happens in the morning Try and find some bucks and get them patterned. I'm pretty sure I shoot that buck. <laughs> It was going to be an issue, and I was going to leave my binoculars, which I did not. And now Trev's filming, and I'm glassing deer. So, not sure how that works, but here we are. We got uh, probably like eight bucks out here in the sage that aren't even in the field, or they must have left early. And probably the better bucks so far are out here. I haven't got a good look at this one in the field yet with the spotter, but... There's a couple of shooters out here in the sage. So. Yeah, there's about six bucks out there you'd shoot. <laughs> How many bucks would you shoot? Uh, can't say yet. How many bucks? I maybe, maybe I should hike down and get the big camera with the 600. Are they just feeding? Yeah, I mean I could do it since it's my job. <laughs> 
that one right there is really wide. Doesn't have as deep of forks. Is he a freaking three by four? Okay, I gotta lower this. I feel like I'm looking over the fence. He's a stunner, don't you know? He's just a pretty wide four. Okay. Yeah. I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this buck that's closest to us here to the left of these cottonwoods. Um, and this, he is. In that group of bucks? Yeah, he's wide. He's not super deep fork, but he's really wide, at least from what I see. Tell me what you think. Five white tails way out there. A couple of nice ones though. There's a few nice deer around, that's for sure. It's about nine o'clock. Opening morning here in Wyoming, and we spotted some bucks feeding out in the sage, and so we kind of worked up into this little rock outcrop, and we bedded them down, and there's 11 bucks and about a gazillion antelope, and they're in the middle of the open, and it's a lot of eyeballs. So we're going to actually move back, check on another buck that was in a in the other pivot there and see what he looks like see if he's put himself in a place we could approach and if not we're gonna get some breakfast but it is an awesome morning and the mosquitoes are atrocious it's September 1st and they've had so much rain here that it's a mosquito fest which is not normal for up here but I'll take it as long as I'm sitting here at glass and box. It's awesome. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.